What's up Troops, Molly13 here and today we're going to be discussing those dreaded exams like a few of you requested. It's that time of the year for quite a few of you and whether you're in school, college, uni, I'll be sharing a few tidbits and a few anecdotes. There you can tell with those words I got a standard grade 1 in English. Aye, you better believe it. But aye, I'll be sharing a couple wee stories about my exams and how they affected my life because I'm so important. No matter what age you are or what level of exam you're sitting, exams can be some of the most stressful times of your life. Seriously, folk have mental breakdowns, fucking burst into tears over some maths questions because of the, the amount of pressure on you. You feel like if you don't pass this exam and every other one, that's your life fucked. Come August when you get the results, it's not a sheet of paper saying you failed you get, it's just a big game over sign that floats out of the envelope and life just asks you to insert one more credit to play again, that credit being a credit one maths. That's actually a really clever joke and I hope some of you got that and appreciate it. But I was one of those people who really would begin to crumble under some of that exam pressure. Like when you're finally sat down and the invigilator is handing out the paper and it says on the front of it to put your name down and whatnot. Then suddenly you can't even fucking spell your own name. It tells you to print what school you're at. Like, what, what fucking school am I at again? When's my birthday? Am I even alive? But the exam starts and after a while we get into a, a good flow. But I always got pure put off when the invigilator would do circuits of the room. When they would walk past me I tried to look not suspicious for some reason. I might as well have said to them, here mate, I'm no cheating by the way. That'd have looked fucking less suspicious than just a fake smile at them <laughs> as they're walking past. I used to write with my head really low down to the desk so I was always dead paranoid about looking like I'm trying to hide something. It was always quite unnerving when you heard the first seat being pushed back for someone to go hand in their finished paper and you're just just halfway through it, just looking at them like, I fucking right, there's still two hours left. Tell you it was actually even worse when it happened to you. Maybe you just had a fucking great day, a great exam, and you start thinking, was that, that was too easy, wasn't it? Have I missed something? I'll wait until someone else makes a move. The next stage was getting some intel outside of the exam room, asking folk here, what did you put for question three? Although a couple times I'd go like that to people after. That was right easy, wasn't it? Fucking breeze that man, full marks, nae bother. In retrospect, people probably <laughs> could have done without that. This might come as a shocker to uh, some of you, but I never actually sat any higher exams. <gasps> Gasp. No, no, the highest exam results I ever got were standard grades and intermediate to PE. History, PE and English were all my best exams. Loads of writing in those, but the teachers I had at the time just made my exams pretty easy for me, to be honest. There was no pressure in them at all, really. I tell you where the pressure really was, though. Fucking art. That art exam lasted about six hours, six hours worth of drawing a bowl of fruit. You'd go fucking bananas by the end of it. Nah, that was shite, mate. I think the funniest exam I ever had was uh, <laughs> craft and design. I mean, the regular class side of it was funny enough, just arsing about in the woodwork room for two years, but when those two years came to an end in the exam room, what a laugh. I've never seen invigilators lose control of an exam room before, but honestly, folk were just shouting out the answers to each other. I think someone got the tunes on at some point, and I even passed it, which is more remarkable than... <laughs> somebody playing tunes during the exam. But aye, I never did get to do my, my hires because I left school before I could do the final ones. I did my prelims and I did alright except for maths. I think I failed that prelim but maths just bored me to tears honestly. And we now have arrived at the preaching point of the video. Yes. Basically I wanted to just say quickly that I'm speaking towards more the younger members of the audience here, right? That your exams aren't the be all and end all of your life. I'm not saying just don't give a fuck about them but just don't think that maybe if you don't get straight A's or however it's graded, right? That you'll get anywhere in life. Just know the exam you need to do well in to get into that college or uni course you want to do or job you want to get into. And here, even if they don't work out, there's always another way to get where you want to be. And I'm telling you, this is a guy who talks to himself over Call of Duty gameplay, so you know this is some Gandhi level wisdom here. And for all you uni folk doing dissertations and all that, ugh, there's no hope for you. I don't know how you can manage going through all that fucking hassle. But good luck to everyone either way. Anyway, that's enough preaching before I get done off some wee guys more. You tell my son on that YouTube not to give a fuck about his maths exam. We don't want that to happen. Before I go though, I want to give another quick shout out to the Resonate Gaming Festival, which is happening in the Glasgow SECC at the end of July. A link to get tickets is down in the description. I'll be there all three days as well as a load of other Scottish YouTubers, not to mention all of the games and tournaments and but it's going to be a great time, right? So I'll hopefully meet a few of you there if that sounds like your kind of thing. Please leave a like and as always, let me know any topics I should discuss in the future as well as any funny exam-related stories you have. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.